What's going on guys? My name is Nicole Charnel and in today's video I'm going to talk to you about my three month lock update for my hair, my lock. So if you haven't seen my previous videos on my lock updates, I'll link them up in the cards and in the description box down below. But it is my three month. So um, a little bit about my hair or my locks. I did them myself. I started them with two strand twists. 111 days since I twisted my hair in the intention of locking it. So since I started my lock journey. And this is my third three month update. So I'm a little bit past three months. I'm what 20 some days almost <laughs> past. Nonetheless, we're going to do this update. I actually just um, refreshed or retwisted my hair yesterday um, and I'll show you some clips as I'm talking so when I first started my locks uh, basically the first time I retwisted I just did a regular retwist and palm roll and then after it kind of came out or was well kind of came out because I exercise almost every day uh, it came out rather quickly so then I started to interlock my hair so I interlocked my hair twice um in within my once within my first month and then another time within my second month and then this month I kind of started to notice a difference in my hair where I was inner where I started interlocking now, I don't have a lot to go on obviously because my my locks are only three months old so they're not like completely locked or anything but I could kind of feel on some of my locks there's like a knot sort of like close to the root like and that's from the interlocking process basically of me interlocking my hair and on some some locks it was more predominant than other locks um so you know basically I was like well let me do a little bit more research um and and of course so now that I'm locking my hair I follow a lot of um girl a lot of women who are locking their hair as well some of them are interlocking some of them are palm rolling all that jazz so um after watching some more videos about why why they stopped interlocking, why they started interlocking, their pros and cons. Um, it kind of just basically I determined that you know my interlocking is causing this little knot in my hair obviously and that my hair will lock but um, it's gonna maybe cause like a textural change in my lock. So I guess at that point I just decided Am I going to continue to interlock my whole head or am I just going to go to palm rolling? I was like, okay, I think I'm just going to interlock the edge of my hair pretty much like the first row, maybe the second row, and then the rest of my hair I'm going to palm roll. So that's what I decided on to do this month. Um, I And then I also like did these little twist things because... To me, the, like I said, palm rolling, and especially since my locks aren't locked yet, um, like my, my hair's not completely locked yet, twists, you know, it kind of still comes undone, you know, it kind of still messes up a little bit. So I'm um, not saying I need to be perfect, but I still want it to stay, you know, uniform. I want my lock to stay together. So I decided to also do these little twists. So basically I, I took like four individual locks and I palm rolled them and then I put it in this little twist and then like I have just like a little rubber band at the end to hold the twist together so that's what I did and then in the front row I did interlock my hair so um these edge ones they're they're kind of small and they're kind of dainty and but they don't have that whole knot issue like with the interlocking that some of the ones like in the middle and in the back like I could really feel the whole in the knot where I interlocked my hair and I didn't like that so but in the on my edges it's not that bad like my I have fine hair um now if you know if you knew me or watched some of my videos as a curly natural like I have a lot of hair but it is fine it's very fine so um, because of that, like my edges, they're just, they're just maximum fine. They, they're just, they're just really fine. So the interlocking is actually a little bit easier, especially on my edges. And I think it looks a lot better, um, versus as me palm rolling. And I also think that's why I can't palm roll them because my hair is so thin. Um, it just comes out, it just comes out super easy. That's what I've decided to do. I'm still on water and castor oil. That's all I use in my hair. Besides when I shampoo, I do shampoo with my Dr. Bronner's. Uh, like I said, all I use is castor oil and water. And it's definitely been working with me. Um, I'm still having the whole, this the struggle of 
um, washing my hair, to wash my hair, to not wash my hair. But I've been getting a lot of encouragement from you guys down in the comments below um, telling me just go ahead and wash my hair. Like, it's fine. I can wash my hair. But, you know, I guess that's the benefit of the lock journey. You know, I can still wash my hair and my hair is still pretty much in style. I don't, I think I have a little bit of budding, but, well, all my hair is in twists here, so I can't really take one out. But, um, especially in the back, like, the very last row, and, like, in the middle of my head, like, it's definitely locking faster than the front. I don't really play in my hair a lot, uh, but I do have to manipulate it every day because I wear a hat at work. So, um, and then also the front end of my hair is, has always been the looser textured area so I just knew that especially this this area is just going to take longer to lock which is fine you know we all have struggles okay we're only on month three other than that I'm really enjoying this lock journey I'm enjoying my hair um I'm just getting to that point where people are like are you locking your hair are you locking your hair girl are those locks yeah so I'm just getting to that point which is nice um I haven't I mean other than if you watch my my YouTube channel you don't really know that I'm locking my hair because I don't really have any social media so you know you know if you haven't seen me in a while then yes I'm locking my hair you know obviously you don't watch my YouTube why don't you watch my YouTube channel please subscribe thank you thank you for watching <laughs> hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you can get notified when I make new videos that's it for this update like I said I am enjoying my hair journey and my lock journey um it's I think it looks really cute I like it I'm also liking the texture of my hair I'll of course we'll have to see the more it locks I know the more straight it's gonna get so um which is actually kind of one of my fears but I, I know I'm just gonna embrace it and then or I'll just twist it up so I can have a little wave, little wave action and, and some volume in my hair, you know. So anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. If you want to know anything about my hair, my lock journey or anything like that, make sure you leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you or maybe even do a video about it on my channel. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you check out my previous lock updates. They will be linked on the screen. And if you're a curly natural and this is how you got to my channel, I do still have tons of curly natural hair videos on my channel. So you can check them out as well. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!